Hey guys, welcome back to Monotone Gaming. We're about to share our poems. Woo! Yo! Hey, I can't wait to the doors. Yeah, same. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Sorry, that's Monica's voice, but... <laughs> I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori all still trots away to retrieve her poem. We're reading first. Uh, we started with Yuri last time. Uh, no, we started with Monica last oh, time. Uh, so we did Monica, so we'll Natsuki, with, Yuri, Sayori. Okay, so then we'll do Sayori this time, then okay. Yuri, and then Natsuki. Okay, just backwards. No. Oh my goodness! This is so good, huh? Eh? Yeah. I love it! Especially after yesterday's power. Which is mostly towards Yuri. Uh, you're too honest sometimes, Sayori. No, but really. Yeah, really. I wanna put this on my wall. That seems like a little much. Can I? Go. Put it on the refrigerator. Yeah, go for it. It's like if you were my dumb kid. <laughs> wow. I'm saying that you're awesome, even though I thought it was a piece of shit. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, that's what my parents said to me. You. I'm sorry to hear that. It was very sad. You must be seriously overreacting. I heard my parents making fun of uh, my first poem whenever I was uh, outside the room. Uh, they were in the kitchen. Oh. I cried softly at, at night. Do you want to? Do you want to talk about it? No. No. It's too late now. <laughs> I'm not a good writer at all. It's over 20 years ago. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Or around 20 years ago. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. I know what I like. <laughs> Cookies. Nom 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 nom. Cheese. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Oh. Uh, well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than I about the people, you know. So we're not really your power. It's not just a power. It's an eyes poem. Ha, get it? It's a <laughs> <love> poem. <laughs> Clever name. Yes. Clever name. That was all Kobe. And that's... <laughs> oh, that's uh, uh, extra special. Uh, oh, God. You okay? I, I feel all your feelings on it. I don't know. The chicken nuggets don't feel like they agree <laughs> with me. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. Gross. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> Well, I'm not really good at figuring out poems are good or bad. So you shouldn't ask me for poems. Yeah. But that's why I just go by my heart. Well, that's a good way to do it, I think. Nope. Oh. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. That's... Or a shitty poem, because it can make me feel like shit. <laughs> I'm sure that's exactly how... I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. <clears throat> then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of the whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah! Well, yeah. Yeah. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Alright, uh, you wanna write something for me? Ba Baka. That's so sweet! I never said that. Yeah, right. You plowed it. I heard it. <laughs> but you're always... <laughs> you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Uh, well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Oh, I guess I like happy poems. But sometimes I like sad poems, too. Maybe a little bow? There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Neutral. Better sweet. Yeah! I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. You don't know me. The tragedy I felt. Uh -huh. Well, I like happy the most, this, but, but sometimes you have to have a little rainy cloud in your heart. If you don't have sadness, you can't and truly appreciate the happy. Sunshine run on my happy rain cloud. A sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug. Oh. And make a nice happy rainbow. Well, that's, that's that's a nice way to look at it. No! <laughs> Sorry, that's unexpectedly poetic. Oh, bulls. Maybe I'm a little better expressing my feelings after all. Maybe. Baka. Then, Zai. I should go write that down then. 
You read my poem now, okay? I just wrote it. <laughs> Whoa. Bottles. I pop off my... Careful. Gross. That's why I'm just trying to make sure that that's what it is. Yeah. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on the shelf with all of the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles, all in a row. This is long as fuck. Yeah. My collection make, it makes it me lots of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes a friend, my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper, my fingers go. Mm. What? <laughs> like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secret hiding in the nooks <laughs> and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. I blow dust off uh, my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up, and in my, come my friends. In they come, in such a hurry. They want my bottles that much. I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other. Howling. Holding. Totally looks like a, a combined yeah, it, L with a D. Holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. I threw it on the ground. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo was a video game. I think inside my head. See well, another poem. That was certainly bittersweet. Holy crap. Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but I mean I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I really <laughs> And I really been in touch with my feelings or something. I see that. It, it's almost kinda creepy. Triple. Well, not exactly. Maybe, maybe because I'm, I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. Point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Ah, oh, thanks. Oh, no, no. I feel like I feel, I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It helps me understand my own feelings a little better. Writing is magic. Yeah. You're getting pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best! I'm gonna quit writing until I die. Uh, don't, don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> wow, that's mean. Sayori's ha always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no, no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times, but seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Uh, I never saw her again. <laughs> who's next? Wait, we did Sayori. Yeah. Uh, so it'd be Yuri, then not. Wait. It's too late. Yeah, it's Yuri and Natsuki, and then Monica. Let's see what you've written for today. Hmm. Is this pretty good, I? Were you influenced by seeing everyone's writing styles yesterday? I guess you could say that. I was also a bit surprised by how differently everyone writes. So I respect you for trying new things. You this, don't need to be this afraid. This is the greatest thing, because now I don't have to read. I can drink. <laughs> You don't need to be afraid to do be a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Oh, she's making fun of me for Sonic. Don't Don't feel like you need to work your brain like it's turning a bunch of gears. Are you calling me stupid now? Try letting your mind or wander Bradley through feelings. Now? Yeah, I think she is. And write down the things you see in here. That's one way to truly enable your reader to see into your mind. It's a very handsome exercise. I see. That's certainly an interesting technique. Oh, jeez, Rick, I have no idea what she's saying anymore. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. I have, um, an example of that if you'd like to read it. Uh, of course. Wait. Is this the is this the poem you wrote for today? Yuri nods and timidly hands me her poem. The Rat Coon. <laughs> Coon and Friends. It happened it. in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. 
My attention was caught by the scattering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. What does that mean? I, I gave... <laughs> she's a furry. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconsciousness well aware of the consequences. Well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The exciting beauty of my... The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, and urge. Are you calling me thirsty? Or him thirsty? Who? The moon in... The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I sliced the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon became excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. Becomes excited. The raccoon is taken a following to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. But every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. This girl kind of scares me. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of getting a little weirded out, too. Um... I, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. Uh, <clears throat> more knife and cutting yeah, of things. Yeah, lots of knives in that. Um, it's a lot more metaphorical, I hope. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. Yeah, that's right. Are you, are you saying we're a raccoon and you're feeding us? Uh, it, it's a bit closer to my preferred writing style using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, yeah. If, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. Feeding raccoons? <laughs> Do not have hamburger meat in your... Uh sleeping bag whenever you're in the woods raccoons right. will come into your uh your tent and try to get the hamburger meat good to know it's a very bad time Did it happen very to you? scary yes i'm sorry to hear that it wasn't me who put the hamburger meat there oh. though i was really upset because i got it all out yeah i woke up with a raccoon in my sleeping bag wow and then i just fell asleep because i was too scared to do anything else <laughs> it's those sorts of things i'm usually forced to keep to myself so I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? B because they're embarrassing and people would make fun of me. I wouldn't make fun of you, especially if you had a knife. Yeah. I would not make no. fun of you. <laughs> don't, don't you have anything like that eye? Well, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. Ha 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 ha. I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. Natsuki! Excuse me. Hmm. Well, it's not really any worse than your last one. Oh, shit. But I can't really say it's any better either. Phew. Huh? Phew what? Ah, well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take as a win. And I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey, hey, what makes you... Wait, maybe that was a compliment. Ah, glad to see you, you, uh, someone recognizes my experience. Well then, keep practicing and maybe you'll be as good as me one day, someday. Th that's, uh... Something tells me Natsuki completely missed the point. Yep. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Eh, you think so? Ah, uh, they're, they're catching on to oh, us. Oh shit. Yeah. Well, I guess if yeah, you've been friends with her for so long, you might you might be on the same wavelength. Someone is on Twitch. Steam. The same thing. <laughs> but you never you really never struck me as her type. Oh, you really? just met me. How do you know? Yeah. Why am I talking to myself now? <laughs> it's confusing. Sayori has a type all of a sudden. Get in my box. No, sorry, I was talking to myself again. Well, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone so uh, fluffy? Spend so much time with someone like you. 
It's like she's dragging a uh, ground, uh, dragging around a dead weight. Oh, uh, that was a little unnecessary. But they leave it this way. If it were for me, she'd probably just fly away, like letting go of a balloon. You could say we take care of each other in our own way. You ever deadlift, bro? Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here, <laughs> read it. Amy likes spiders. You know uh, what I heard yesterday? What I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps them private. It doesn't matter if she uh, doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world's better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I hate spiders. <laughs> and I hate spider lovers. I don't yeah. have to explain it, like I just did. <laughs> Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. 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 And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. You know who I'm talking about? Yuri. <laughs> oh. Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an inner jerk. Do you know people like that? Yuri, of course. It's about how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Yuri! <laughs> everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Yuri! Something that you're afraid if people find out, they would make fun of you or think less of you. Yuri! <laughs> but that makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes? Is actually that means her poem is uh, a yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a double entendre or something like that. It, it, or something like that. She's Amy. Yeah. Yeah. Or that because she's saying that so, someone's opinions are uh, gross or they don't like something, mm -hmm. but for judging them, that's wrong. Yeah. And that's uh, but her poem, if you read it at face value, mm -hmm. is different. Yeah. So she actually wrote like it's Yuri a double this time. entendre. But she actually wrote like Yuri this yeah, time yeah, instead, yeah. which is the thing. Who cares what someone uh, likes or as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? I think we really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Huh, oh, that's funny. Yuri wrote about something similar today. Huh? Did you say Yuri? That bitch. <laughs> yeah. She said her poem was about an unusual hobby of hers. I didn't really get it, but she said something similar to you. That people shouldn't make fun of each other. Or that people shouldn't make each other feel insecure about those things. Really? Well, I mean, Yuri's pretty weird, so I wouldn't doubt that she has some weird hobbies, like feeding raccoons or some shit, right? Yeah. It's fucking weird. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, it's not like I would judge her or anything for liking spiders. Yuri! Natsuki has trouble finding words. I, I, I guess I should try not to be so mean to her. Probably. If she feels in insecure about her weird behaviors and stuff. I mean, I always hate people who make me feel insecure. Yuri! And Yuri makes <laughs> makes me feel in, and Yuri made me feel insecure yesterday. But the way you put it, it sounds like she learned her lesson. Did you, Yuri? Did you fucking learn your lesson? No. Dear well, God. I would say so. Even if her writing style is really different, I'm sure she'll appreciate the message in your poem. It's what I do best after all. <laughs> I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like conveying emotions is important. I didn't have to say like there. But I just, I, I want to make people think, not just feel. You know, like how Yuri said yesterday. Remember yeah. that. <clears throat> Believe it! That's okay. a bio. <laughs> what? That's a bio. Uh, uh, I'm going to write a good one for tomorrow, too. So look forward to it. Okay. So wait, are we moving, are we at all moving forward with her? Or Yuri at this Probably point? Probably not. Uh. Monica. I thought like it, it just pushes everyone equally after a certain point. 
but mm-hmm. it just pushes one person a day. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> now I can drink. Hi, Yenai. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. Bruh. Bruh. I'm happy that you're playing yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Bruh. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Man. Want to share what you will for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. All right. Bruh. I like this one, bruh. It makes <laughs> me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of days to come in. Man. Uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Uh, well, that may be the case. Right. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. Mm. The way she talks about you. Man. All the time. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Dude. Even if you show in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. Right. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Man. You, sh- you sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh Bruh. gosh, I sound like Yuri. In any case, Sayori's writing has got a gentle feel to it. I could tell that she likes exploring with emotions, like happiness and sadness. Bruh. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Dude. Yeah, <laughs> that's totally <laughs> unexpected. Uh, well, they each their own. Man. <laughs> and you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little either. Bruh. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? Dude. I, I like the way this would turn out, so I hope you do too. Nah. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, There's no poem. Oh, oh I, okay, I got rid of it. Hold on. Just gonna... I thought this was a different song for a second. Save me. The colors, they, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing. Expanding. Piercing. Bruh. Red, green, blue an endless cacophony of meaningless noise the noise it won't stop violent grating waveforms squeaking screeching piercing sine cosine tangent like playing a chalkboard on a turntable like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust an endless poem of meaningless load me alright All right, well, that was neat. Uh, hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. Bruh. I'm sorry if you don't like it. Dude. No, I never said that. This is kind of a thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I gotta, like, play with my space of the paper. Man. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. Bruh. It's almost like magic. Dude. Yeah, young girl's heart. The way I write the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. Yeah. I see. Well, it's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes, asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. Uh, a poem could be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling dude. or a conversation with the reader. Man. So, putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Uh, anyway, here's some... Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Man. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Dude. You never know when you might change your mind or when something unexpected may happen. Bruh. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Bruh. Thanks for listening. Broke the fourth law, bruh. Okay, everyone. We're going to read each other's poems, right? I have something extra plan. It's a very... Everyone can come sit at the front of the room. We're gonna do something extra on the next episode! Bruh. Bye. Bruh.